All right, so let's go ahead and install uh, uh, Manjaro. Uh, as you see here, we have the icon. Uh, they have a new install installer called uh, Calamari, if I'm not mistaken. So here's the installer, as you see here. Uh, this is 16.06.1 Daniela installer. Uh, let's go ahead and hit next. Uh, I'm in the US and I'm in Vegas, so I gotta choose Los Angeles. Uh, English US, that's good. We'll go ahead and hit next. So now this is usually the trickiest part for a lot of people, especially if they're trying to replace their current operating system. Uh, that's Linux, you know, and they have Windows. So the cool thing about uh, Calamari, I've noticed, uh, it allows you to easily and visually uh, replace your existing Linux operating system with one single click. So if you wanted to get rid of one of your other operating systems uh, that is Linux-based and have Windows, and you're obviously dual booting, this is an awesome way to do it. Uh, it's also easy enough to just install it uh, in addition, uh, but in this case, I want to replace a partition as you see here. So I'm going to go ahead and click uh, uh, replace partition. So as you see, it sees my Windows uh, uh, 10 right here, uh, and there's the uh, storage that goes with it. So these two are basically a pair, right? But here you see my Debian install and uh, the swap. So here's the coolest thing. You ready? Watch this. I wish all Linux distros could do this. Ready? One, two, three. Boom. And see that red? That tells us we're replacing this baby and that to this. And uh, I love it. Uh, so, yeah, Manjaro, Manjaro, however you pronounce it, is taking over my Debian. Which I do love Debian, but uh, this operating system looks really cool. Uh, just to give you a quick uh, glimpse of what it is. I mean, it's very Windows-esque, you know. Uh, very much it looks like it. Uh, simple, easy to use. Um, I don't know. I just wanted to try something new, and I think it's visually nice looking. Uh, and I'm always looking to try something new. So, we'll go ahead and hit next. Uh, what is your name? I'll go ahead and... Uh, for the heck of it, I'll put in my real information. Normally I would not. Because uh, I just don't normally want to put my real details in. Right? So, go ahead and type uh, just a cheapy password. To check for a second, make sure the caps lock was on. Looks good. Now, please, everybody, do not use the same password for your administrator account. That is a horrible, horrible, horrible idea, right? Uh, because if you get one account, guess what? And they realize you're using the same one. Oh boy, that's terrible. Not only is that crappy administrating, uh, but uh, that's just uh, bad computing. Uh, so let's go ahead and hit next. See how easy this is going to be. And uh, so far it's looking pretty good. Unfortunately, I'm looking at the video through my phone. I hope it's not all this wacky looking uh, lines that I'm seeing. If it is, I'm very, very sorry. Uh, all right, so here we are. Uh, obviously, location, time zone, America, Los Angeles. This tells us the basic keyboard stuff, the partitions that are being replaced. Uh, it's going to, de to delete the SDA5, create a whole new one, uh, create Manjaro and install a new bootloader on dev sda i'm okay with it and there we go that is literally it that's how easy it was to uh replace my debian uh, linux install that i side uh, load with windows um and manjaro just kicked ass it was so simple to do that uh which would normally take me some time to do in slack or uh um even Debian, uh, not Ubuntu. Ubuntu has some better, you know, installing. 
But uh, yeah, free BSD or uh, Slackware, this would have been a little more difficult. Uh, but yeah, it was just a point and click type thing, which uh, makes me say every time, the year of the Linux desktop is here, but uh, obviously it's not. But stuff like this, where it's very easy to use and very Windows-like, it's uh, personal.